beautiful people yes it is thursday um it is a new day so i am getting ready for my doctor's appointment and uh yeah i got a couple things to do oh your girl's ashy get some butter oh y'all i have been having indigestion all day long it is just it's just ridiculous and <laughs> i say all day and it's only like 8 30 or something like that so really all morning i've been up since maybe five o'clock this morning i got up did my devotional and um talked to my husband then i had to be i had to take my mom to work My skin has been extra dry lately and it's partly my fault because i haven't been moisturizing outside when i get out of the tub so but also um if you saw in my it's my second trimester it's either my second trimester update or my first trimester update and i talked about that being one of the symptoms is that my um, my skin has just been extra dry. So yeah. Anyways, ooh, y'all is really a struggle. <laughs> y'all should see me in here trying to put these clothes and trying to put these shoes and put this uh mango butter on my legs and stuff y'all it is just ridiculous anyways <laughs> um so yeah after the doctor's appointment i have to go to the grocery store and i'm probably just gonna end up going to walmart but i need to get some stuff i need to get some more soy milk and just a couple of more things that I need to get. And um, yeah, I think I told y'all about the samples that I had got from this uh, brand. And even though they aren't paying me for it, I want to treat it as a campaign that they are paying me for um so i want to you know create i'm sorry i told you i got indigestion and some effort acid reflux right now so it's really the only bad but yeah so i want to um create some good content with that you know because i need to I, I'm, I'm used to just taking you know photos of the things that i'm getting you know when it comes to okay that was weird my camera just literally cut off by itself um but anyways i'm used to just just taking pictures you know just taking pictures putting it on instagram you know of stuff that i get for free or whatever the case may be but i want to start treating that stuff as a campaign you know treating it as the company is paying me for it because at the end of the day it's all good like practice for me i guess you can say in creating like real content not just like taking pictures of things so yeah I want to do that so i need to it's seasonings that i got so i want to actually like cook something and then do like a reel for it 
I'll do like a reel and then just, you know, take some stationary pictures or whatever. So, got my Starbucks. So yeah, I wanna do that. The only thing about that also too is my mom's kitchen is really, really dark. So I wanna find somewhere that I can, that has like a very, you know, good lighting and has a better aesthetic of what I'm going for, what I see happening in my head. So yeah, anyway, point is I'm gonna be cooking something and I need food for it. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then also too, I wanna get some last minute things for my baby because all I have is like clothes for the baby. Like I don't even have like like regular clothes. Like I don't have no onesies. I need onesies. I need like the little sleeper things. Um, you know, I don't even have any bottles outside of the bottles that I got for the breast pumping kit that I have. And mind you, I'm 37 weeks and 37 weeks and five days, I believe. <laughs> so my due date is literally like two weeks away and my baby don't have no bottles. So yeah, I'm gonna be going to go get some stuff, get some last minute items. So take y'all along, we got a long day. Let's get it. Y'all, that is literally my baby song. Like, <laughs> I am not even playing. Whenever I play the song or whenever I hear this song, my baby start dancing, y'all. <laughs> Ah, yes, my baby loves it. Ah, anyways, I'm about to go into this um, daughter's appointment. I'm not gonna take my camera just because they be so quick now. Like, they really just be checking, you know, making sure everything is good. But yeah, I'm not gonna take my camera in this time just because. Um, it, like I said, it just happened so quick. So I literally be in and out and I don't even have time to take out my camera most of the time. But yeah, so I'll talk to y'all when I get back. Okay, so everything is good with baby. Everything is also good with mommy. <laughs> um, Yeah, everything looks good. They pretty much just said it's a waiting game at this point. You know, we're just waiting for baby to come. Still have to come weekly and yeah we just gonna see when this child is ready to uh make a debut into the natural world <laughs> so yeah let's go to walmart so we can grab some things for baby and i gotta use the bathroom <laughs> Hmm. Trying to find some onesies for baby. This is cute. Oh, what's these slippers? I don't want to get too much newborn stuff either because you never know. Three, nine months. 
socks some regular socks any type of shoes and stuff like that that i may decide to get later but i don't really see it as a necessity okay so i just got home and i'm about to make some barbecue chicken sliders this I got these with some baked beans gotta have vegetarian <laughs> and yeah I'll probably eat some rice I got some rice left over from a meal that I had so I'll probably eat that and then for dinner I'll eat the leftovers and I got a bunch of stuff for my baby so I'll probably show y'all that stuff after I cook because I am hungry I need to eat I've never eaten like these little slider things I eat beans with rice all the time you know that's a regular meal but these chicken barbecue sliders. Never even thought about it. <laughs> now here I am. And that's what my baby wants. Like. Huh? Tell you this beginning. Of... Just to chop everything. Seriously. Just to chop anyhow. Let me try one because I never had it before. I hope I like it <clears throat> because well, it ain't bad. different from anything I ever had but it's not bad at all y'all I'm in full nesting mode at this point okay I don't got the majority of the stuff that my baby need right now until you know at least for the first like three months so I'm just in full nest mode, so. I know I talked about getting one of those shells for baby, but I found this that I had. So, um, right now it's in the closet in the, in my mom's like classroom. My, my mom my brother's classroom or whatever it used to be my room but anyway um me and baby are moving to a different room so but in the different room there's no actual closet so there's no rod there's no rod for it to like be on like this so i have to put this in this closet for right now but right now what I'm about to do is I'm about to wash some of the baby's clothes, all the uh, newborn and zero to three month stuff. I'm about to wash so that I can fold that stuff up, put it up. Um, Pretty much I'm about to fold up all, all the clothes and stuff like that. Um, 
and put them away anything that is like past three months i'm gonna wait to like take the tags off and stuff like that until i know that i need it and then i'll wash that stuff and you know do all that stuff before i put it on the baby um then i want to boil bottles and go ahead and have those set up and ready i also want to i also want to clean off this like i said um i think i showed it to you guys but it's like a old bar cart that my mom had in the kitchen and it's we were going to give it away um but i think it would be a good idea to make it like a little bar cart a bar cart <laughs> is a bar cart that i think would be a good like changing table diaper changing thing so i'm going to i need to clean it off and stuff like that so i'll probably do that this weekend um because my mom has like some stuff on there that she's trying to sell so i'll do that this weekend clean it off and stuff like that and then i need to get all that like all the diaper stuff organized and put in there and yeah that's pretty much what i'm doing y'all i'm in full-blown nesting mode okay i'm 37 weeks and five days my baby can come next week if this baby decides to come next week i go be ready you dare me you dare hear word <laughs> i'm gonna be ready for this baby like so I, I'm ready to do all of this stuff now because if I don't, I'm going to feel very um, just anxious and very unprepared. And I don't want to feel like that because, yeah, who wants to be unprepared when their child is coming? So, yeah, I'm about to go ahead, put in a load of wash and start folding up this other stuff. Y'all, I'm so tired. I ain't even gonna lie to you. <laughs> okay, so I have taken all of the baby clothes out and I just, just decided to just go ahead and wash them all because, I mean, why not? <laughs> I feel like I don't have like a ton of stuff that you know that baby will grow out of so i'm pretty much just like yeah let me just go ahead and wash everything and that way i can get everything sorted there's just one less thing that i have to worry about and yeah so that's pretty much what i'm doing right now once I get done washing all this stuff, then I'm going to go ahead and fold everything up and put everything away. All her clothes and stuff. And... <sighs> I'm tired. And then from there, I can start to boil and sanitize, like, bottles and stuff like that. And then the next thing that I'll probably do this weekend is get this little cart together for, um like a baby changing station so yeah i've just been folding up clothes at this point Let's see just folding all my baby's clothes separating them by size so that i can pretty much hang them up and everything um I'm so tired like you can see it in my face I'm so tired but yeah um I'm pretty much just still getting stuff together really um putting stuff in place I haven't I haven't boiled any of the stuff that I was supposed to be sanitizing and boiling <laughs> but yeah um 
I ended up having to take a break from what I was doing to go pick up my mom. And then I had to go to work and I was supposed to be working from five to nine, but y'all was so tired. Like sometimes sleep <laughs> will literally just come over me like a wave and I just feel like I can't do anything. And like, I will literally be like falling asleep, like not enough <laughs> at the computer. So, um, yeah, I pretty much just was like, yeah, I need to put these hours on a different day because right now your girl can't handle it. Even right now, I'm like, I can't handle it. I'm ready to go to sleep like right now. And it is 7.30, it's 7.30 PM and I'm ready to get into bed. But I wanted to go ahead and finish this first because I didn't want my baby's clothes to be just out. So I wanted to go ahead and finish folding them up and then getting them put up. <laughs> mm. Y'all. Oh my God. I had some hibachi from yesterday for dinner. And then I had to drink some ginger tea because I've had indigestion like all day. I, die. I just don't even understand. I've had acid reflux today too, which I haven't had much throughout my pregnancy. Um, I've only had it literally twice. I've had it one other time and then I've had it this time. And I think it's because I drank some juice early this morning when I got up. And it's just all day. It just hasn't been sitting well with me. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to finish this up. So once I get all her clothes done and everything like that, I can go get in the bed, take a shower and go get in the bed. Cause that's what I'm gonna do. 